up, guys? So we have our boxy charm for this month. That is January now. So sure, January. Isn't it? I don't know. They don't, don't put know. the month on it. Just this one's called Fresh Start. Fresh Start, I would think, is January because New Year, New Me. Dear God, here's the. Oh wow, that is heavy. Thing. What we got? It's from Pharmacy. It's called Deep Sweet 2% BHA Pore Cleaning Toner. An alcohol-free 2% BHA toner that gently exfoliates, deep cleans pores, and controls oil without overstripping skin. Ideal for combination oily or acne-prone skin. Nice. That is why the box was so heavy. This is like really thick glass frosted component. Very nice. It feels very expensive, so I'm excited about that. <laughs> Don't really use too many toners because they just seem to irritate my skin. So this one boasts that it's non-irritating and it's good for all skin types. So I'm pretty excited to try that. This is from Dr. Grant. This is uh, Do Not Age Triple Peptide Eye Cream. All right. Pe peptide, did I say that right? Yeah. All right, this deeply hydrating peptide-powered cream helps diminish all signs of aging around the delicate eye area, including lines, wrinkles, dark circles, and puffiness for refreshed, younger-looking eyes for all skin types. Cool. So obviously that, as well as the toner, we're really not going to know how those are going to work until like that weeks and 80, weeks from now. That is this? $82. I believe it. Mother of God. This is an expensive brand. It's there, my, there's a trend here. It's my brand. Okay. Next we have Bail Ball. Or, I said bail. <laughs> bail bond. <laughs> it's bail bond. That is Bali Balm. Sweet orange and coconut lip balm. Essential oils of sweet orange and coconut give this lip balm its citrusy tropical aroma and silky smooth consistency. Sweet orange is packed with vitamin C, which is known to even skin tone and protect against free radicals. What What does that mean? Free radicals are things that can damage your skin. Oh, okay. Ooh. Uh, coconut is a natural emollient. That moisturize for soft that moisturizes for soft subtle lips. Emollient. Soft subtle lips. Soft supple lips. <laughs> <laughs> They're subtle. You Ooh, can't even that. tell you have lips. That actually doesn't smell too bad. I like that. It smells really nice. It's a very delicate hint of orange there. I knocked the million dollar eye cream onto the floor. There you go. That's only worth half a million dollars. All right, so here we have something from uh, Laura Seller, Laura Geller. Laura Geller. Laura Geller High Def Glow Illuminator Duo Heart of Gold. This illuminator duo features a shimmer that radiates with pearlescent polish and a stardust sparkle. The left shade shimmer is a soft low light or cr of crushed pearl, and the right shade sparkle is a high intensity sparkle that looks as though it was plucked from the night sky. So eloquent. So eloquent, eleganza. So I don't know how well that'll show up here, but I did swatch them on my hand. I don't know. They feel okay. I've used a few Laura Geller products in the past, and I was never like Cat completely in the blown away by them. So we'll see. I'm not really one that's like super picky about my highlighters. Just don't have chunks of glitter, and we're good. All What's right, that? So this is a palette. Here we go. We have strong little fingers. It's called the Velvet. Ciate. Ciate London. Velvet eyeshadow palette. Create molten metal and matte looks with this palette. Featuring a mix of hypermetallic soft shimmers and velvety smooth mattes, the innovative powder formulation delivers high pigment with super soft application. So. Uh. I mean, it looks bright, but they look like they're all basically the same three colors. Yeah. So. And they're all very nude colors. I think I dropped the plastic thing on the floor that would even tell us what the colors were. But I don't know that it even really matters. Did you just throw it at me? I did not throw any anything at you. I think one of your pans oh, just fell out. One of the pans just fell out. So that's great. Love that for me. <laughs> this has gone poorly. Uh, I, I'm i a bit disappointed with the palette. Can you hear that? 
Yeah, we'll listen to it rattle in there. Not, not specifically because a pan fell out, because these things happen, but it's kind of boring. And I don't really use a lot of... If I want to do my makeup, I don't want to use a lot of neutral colors. I like to use actual colors. And these seem kind of boring to me. Why do they look like they're striped like zebras? It's the way they're... Uh, poured? Not poured, but pressed. pressed. Yeah. And it does look like it's like there's the a shimmer version colors. of the match. You know? <laughs> there's... Ugh. That's kind of disappointing. I don't... Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'll try it. I'll try it. So, is that it? Yep, that's it. So that's what we got in the box. I will give everything a shot. And maybe we'll do a little try on with me segment here. And uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit then. Bye. Bye. Okay, so I'm going to start out with everything. I did prime my eyelids with the Pretty Vulgar Eye Priming Base. If you're having issues with how much light I'm using, I really do need it to actually see for the makeup application. So I do apologize that it looks kind of blown out, but I have visual impairment, so I need a lot of light. I need a lot of magnifying mirror as it is right here. So just ignore that. Also, if I seem a little low energy, I am, I'm really, really, really tired. I got my second Pfizer COVID-19 vaccine on Thursday and Pretty much the only side effect I got was extreme fatigue and some achiness, which has seemed to resolve, so that's great, but a bitch is tired. I'm just tired. Just tired. So I'm going to start out with that lip gloss as well, just to give my lips a little something before we do lipstick. And I did use this yesterday. It smells amazing. It has a nice gloss to it, which I could see being a little problematic having to wear my mask all day. The gloss, well not the gloss, but the lip balm I've been using. My tried and true I love so much is the one by Jack Black. I really like the grapefruit one. It smells amazing. I really, really love the mint one, but the mint one at this time wearing masks constantly and just my mask breath going into my eyes with the mint was burning them. So I had to put that one on hold, but the grapefruit one doesn't really seem to do that. So this palette, um, I'm going to start out with something like, I think this one up in the corner is matte. Some of them are matte. Obviously you can tell some of them are shimmery, but I think I'm going to keep the shimmer mostly on my lid as I usually would, not really putting that in the crease because that's just not something I personally like and I don't think it really works on my eyes so I don't do it. So let's see. I mean, I think I'll start with these two colors and kind of incorporate the, maybe that too. Although it seems like that's more of a cool toned brown that might not go so well with these really warm shades, but we'll see. Slap them on, blend them out, see what happens. And I am not going to film the whole application just because it's a really hard thing to edit for my husband. And it's just kind of like, how, how much do you really want to see me putting on the eyeshadows? It's not that entertaining, but I'll be back. Okay, so obviously, I pretty much finished up my face. I did my face makeup and my eyebrows, put some lashes on, everything. I did this dark brown in the corner, and I blended it out with this. A little bit of that for transition. I used, it's all backwards, if that would focus. I used a lot of that to smoke it. And then this one is kind of like more of a purple. Where, where is it? There we go. So I did that mostly on my lid and then a little bit of that in the corner to give it a different kind of shimmer. It's really not reading that well on camera, but I wanted to finish up my lower lash line while we're here and do the highlight, of course, because we got that in our box this month. I'm going to take a little pencil brush and I think I'm going to go mostly with this. It's picking up a little bit lighter on camera. But I got to say, working with these eyeshadows, not my favorite. I feel like they were a bit patchy 
and there was a lot of fallout, which if I did my face makeup first would have definitely been a problem, but since I don't, it was just kind of annoying to have to wipe it away constantly because I don't like to try to be working on my, my look and get distracted by everything that's going on under my eye. But that's a personal thing, I suppose, that I just can't keep focused on doing eyeshadow if there's a lot of fallout on my face, even though I'm going to wipe my face off anyways and it doesn't really matter. So this isn't building the best, which is kind of disappointing, but I did experience that on the top as well. I just wanted to give like a little bit of what's going on top underneath my eye as well. So I am patting that in now and I have having a little fallout, which is an annoying, honestly. There's no way to not do a warm look with this palette because everything's warm. So that is also a little frustrating. I wish that these cosmetic companies would launch either something that's like warm and cool or a lot more cool stuff because we just don't really have that. Hi cats. We don't really have that, you know, variety right now. And I think for the inner corner under here, I'm going to go with this, which I will, hello, try to do with a brush. Rumor is here to help me. So I'm just going to color switch that there. Oh, she's a very sweet girl. I have powder all over my shirt. Please don't stab me in the eye while I'm doing this, my love. Just pop that in there. Obviously, it's not ideal to use brushes for shimmers or glitters, but I don't really want this all over my face. And it's really hard to get <clears throat> precise with your finger, so. There she is. I'll put a little on my inner corner as well. That's pretty much the eyes finished up other than I didn't get to put my mascara on my lower eyelashes yet. And we're going to use that Laura Geller highlight. Pop her open here. Hmm. They're both very gold toned. So that's a little difficult. I think I'm going to go for this one. Oh, there's that fallout. Okay. It's pretty. It is very gold. That might not work for everyone's complexions. I feel like today's just a really warm look with everything I have going on. So we're just going to go with it. My stomach's making weird sounds. It's buildable. It seems a little powdery on the skin. It's like, it's fine when you look at it straight on, but then when I'm looking at it from any other angle, it seems like there's just powder sitting on my skin. But we're going to blend that around. And I like to put a little up here. Not that I really need a lot of highlighter because I'm oily, but... I like it. I still do Cupid's bow, so I think it's cute. And the tip of my nose. And just a little there. So, there's the highlight. It's fine. Like I said before, I'm not really one to go out of my way to get highlight, like specific highlighters. I just like them if they're not chunky glittery, which this one is not chunky glittery. It has more of that sheen, but it does have a lot of reflect to it for sure. So it's pretty. I just probably would have maybe, personally, I'd go for something a little more pink than gold because those are my undertones. I'm very, very, very pink. And I feel like the pink just suits me a little bit better. I have been wearing that lip stuff 
for the entire time I've been doing my makeup. And it does feel more like a lip oil than a lip balm or a lip gloss. It has a very oily consistency. And with a lot of lip oils, I feel like it's kind of disappearing very quickly as well. So that's a little disappointing. Maybe this would be good to sleep, you know, with a little Vaseline over it just to lock it in. But I don't think I'm going to wear lipstick today. I'm just going to keep going with this, see how I like it, see if it dries me out further because that's a good indicator of whether I would use it again or not. But I'm going to finish off my eyes with a little mascara on the lower lashes and I'll be back in a little bit to check in and kind of give an update on how everything wore. Probably not going to be doing too much today. Just as I said, I'm, I'm pretty tired. So doing some laundry, probably watching some trailer park boys and I'm hopefully going to change out of pajamas, but I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay. So I went my whole day wearing a full face of makeup and essentially pajamas, but who cares? Cause it's Sunday. I had things to do. I cleaned the whole house, did laundry, did a whole bunch of stuff and I was sweating. So I feel like maybe the shimmers on the eyeshadow didn't hold up the best, but since you weren't here when I applied it, how do you think it looks? Close your eyes. Um, oh, it looks good. I think it looks, it looks like makeup. How it do looks you like feel a makeup like look. the highlighter held up? The shimmer's okay. Can you tell I'm wearing highlighter? Yeah, the stuff that shines on your cheek cheekbones. Do you think it's too gold? No, no, I think it blends well. I feel like it's still a little bit too gold for my liking. I would have liked something a little more pink based that would complement my skin. Uh, like I said, with the eyeshadows, it was kind of patchy. It was a little bit hard to work with. And I wasn't super happy that one of the pans fell out as soon as I opened the palette. But I mean, things happen. I can always glue it back in. But I don't feel as though this is going to be a palette I'm reaching for a lot. That was funny. Yeah. Um, the highlighter, it's fine. Like I said, the, the tone, I could have done a little more pink rather than gold, but it is really pretty. It did wear pretty well. I don't even, you didn't even see. I literally left this morning and yeah. I've been repairing my car the last seven hours. You didn't see when I applied it, but the, nope. there'll be footage in there. I took pictures. Yay. Um, the eye cream, I really like. It's a nice formula. It's very thick. I don't feel like it tugged when I was applying it. Obviously, you want to dab that on because your under eyes and around your eyes is very, very delicate skin. Dab. With the toner, um, I'm not going to know really how that works. I mean, it was fine. It was a little bit of like a struggle to get it to come out because it is in that glass bottle. It's not in like a plastic bottle that you could kind of like squeeze a little bit to like get it out rather than trying to shake it on your cotton square for like 30 minutes and your cats are just staring at you like, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? Yeah, but the cats stare at you regardless. Yeah, they, they're they just, they, they're little spectators. Um, the lip stuff, I don't feel like it's going to be something I'm reaching for a lot because it doesn't seem to last very long. Like I said, it does have that lip oil feel and I don't feel like it, it just seemed to wear off very quickly in contrast to the Jack Black lip stuff I usually use, which what, what I love. Lip, what lip stuff are you talking about? The... Oh, so the smell really good? Yeah, it does it smell does, really good. It smells really nice. It tastes really good. It's, it's fine. It has like a little hint of color, I feel like, but so, who's going to see your mouth right now? It doesn't matter. So don't wear it. Eat it. Uh, ooh, no, I don't recommend eating it, but I think that's all that came in the boxy this month it was the palette, the eye cream, the toner, the highlighter. I think that was it. I'm not sure. Do you have the paper? No, that's an old one. Really it's around here this. somewhere, but I think that's it. I did try everything. Give it a shot. And uh, those were my thoughts. Did you get any variants in your box? Here it is. Was that? Yep. The eyeshadow palette, the pore cleaning, cleaning toner. Mm -hmm. I can do words. The Illuminator Duo Heart of Gold. The eye cream and the lip balm. Yep. That's yep. everything. So that's all we got there. Let me know if you got any variants in your box. Have you tried any of these products before? What are your thoughts? I really hope that I don't 
end up loving that eye cream because it is very expensive. Wow. And I don't want to pay that kind of money for it. I'm using the, the Rock Retin-A uh, eye cream right now, and I really like that. But that's what I got. Those are my thoughts. We'll put some pictures in. And um, if you haven't yet, please do subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. You can like the video if you did like the video, or you can like the video if your cats or dog like to just stare at you creepily for no reason. You can find me on Facebook at Randomator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram, and now TikTok at Randomator. And I hope everyone is having a wonderful new month to this new year, and we'll see you soon. Bye.